Okay, Dells, I know you as a DJ. Many of the people who are going to hear your name, they know you as a DJ. Where did this obsession with sneakers come from? Well, what happened was I started making more money. <laughs> so I was able to buy sneakers, you know? I was starting to really get, get right, you know, with the look and everything. And then um, I was running around with Jermaine Dupri for a little bit. I, I became cool with Bow Wow. And um, I remember Bow Wow, he did a YouTube video showing off a new pair of J's. And I was like, man, I got all of them things. I said, let me, let me, let me make a little video myself. You know, there wasn't really many videos on YouTube. There was like two or three other guys doing them. So I did one video and it caught like, like wildfire. And at the time, my YouTube channel was just behind the scenes stuff. Like, you know, you guys would have um, them listening events. When, when people are putting out their new music, we go to daddy's house and listen to all that music and I'd film and interview the artist. So I had that going on, but the sneaker videos were popping. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, I had Funk Flex call me, yo, these videos are crazy. You know, if he's calling you up, you know, he, he was like, I love these videos, these sneaker videos. So I'm noticing a lot of people like really gravitating to the sneaker stuff. So I said, you know what? I'm going to just put out a sneaker channel and uh, just show off every time I buy a new pair of shoes. Before you know it, brands are hitting me up. Yo, what's your address? I'm getting all the free J's, free Nikes, free Adidas, free everything. I mean, I, stuff I don't even want. You know, I, I, my house is filled with it, with everything, clothes, everything. So I just kept going with it because it was fun. So you weren't even looking to get into that business. You just no, this is up organic. I did this for fun. Wow. Straight up fun. And, you know, is for anybody who doesn't know, please go and, and check out his YouTube channel. There are hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You know, this man has all kinds of kicks. He reviews everything on that channel. Your channel is amazing. Thank um, you. First and foremost. You know, you said that you were inspired originally by a Bow Wow video? Yeah. <laughs> How Bow crazy. Wow showed a pair of shoes, and I said, man, I, I got these. You know, this is nothing. Like, let me, let me show some off, you know? And then that was it. In terms of collecting, is this something you've been doing your entire life? Because, and you know what I, the reason why I wanted to, to have you on this channel was this business, it is making entrepreneurs out of people who are just, just everyday people. You have, you know, the, the, the 40 year old executive who's making a change in his career, but you also have the teenager who just loves kicks. Yep. Who are, you know, just getting into this business. So I sell trade brother. You got 15 year olds making a lot of money, a lot of money, 16 year olds getting all the hot new sneakers, flipping them, resell, resell, resell. Before you know it, they got their own business. They're 18 years old, they're buying their own stores. They got people coming in, consignment shops, moving a lot of products and these shoes, you know, I got shoes that are worth $20,000 behind me. Excuse me? Yeah, 20,000. Okay, before we get deep into the business, because I got a lot of questions for you, no, you know, no we problem. got a short amount of time. It, 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 how, how, many, how many pairs of kicks do you own? I used to have about 600. I'm trying to trim the fat. It's hard because I love them so much. I'm at like 450 now. Okay, so for somebody who owns 450 pairs of sneakers, where do you keep them? Storage. This is my office. That's it. So literally, you rent a storage facility just to house your just sneakers. Just for sneakers. Controlled with the temperature and everything. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's pivot for a second. And let's Go just ahead. talk business. You mentioned you have a pair, and, and I wasn't even going to go down this road right away, but you have a pair of sneakers that are worth $20,000? 20K. What? What could these sneakers say? Yes, absolutely. Right. 
And for anybody who is watching this, I should have known. I should have known. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have had those ready. You know better. I was going there. <laughs> So, th so these are the brand new, these are these are brand new. They've never been worn. This is the Red October Kanye West Yeezy sneaker. Never so, been worn. Go for 18 to 20K brand new. This is a brand new. How'd you get your hand on them? Oh, I was able, I got a plug, you know. <laughs> Someone got them. I'm a, this is a funny story. Because people either love Kanye or hate him. I love Kanye. I, I think he's brilliant. Some of the stuff I don't agree with what he says. But I've always been a supporter of him. Even when he was producing beats, I'd see him outside of the office and whatnot. He was trying to get his music started. Yo, listen, listen, play me on your mixtapes. You know, he, he was always so hungry. I, and, he, you know, I, and, and he always respected the DJ. That was one thing I liked about Kanye from early on. Um, but um, this guy, you know, hates Kanye West. Oh, can't stand him. He got the shoe. He said, listen, I know you're a big fan of Kanye. And you know I can't stand Kanye, but I love Michael Jordan. So he was like, hook me up with some crazy deal and we'll get it popping. So I gave him like, like a bunch of the Jordan 11s that were real popular. I traded about six pairs of shoes. I knew the shoes would be worth a lot of money down the road. So I didn't mind it. Seemed a little crazy at first. Some of my friends were like, that's a little nuts. But I came off crazy at the end. So, you know, it, this is just the most fascinating culture to me. Buy, sell, trade. You have a pair of Kanye Red Octobers. Everybody knows them. Never worn. Like, what is the point? Like, are you holding those to one day sell them? Are you holding them? Is it like a, a bottle of champagne that, that maybe one day when something big happens? Yeah, in your life, that's, where I, that's where I'm looking at. You know, pop it, throw them on my feet. Some special, or if the price is right, look, everyone got a got a price with material things, I think. Not as far as doing things, but material things, everyone got a price, I think. Mm -hmm. That's that's me personally. I'm I'm talking about like like a car. Let, let's say I I admired that chair of yours. If I want if someone offered you like some ridiculous, you'd be like, yeah, take the chair, shit, I'll buy me a new one, you know? They, everyone's got a price when it, it's like the million dollar man. Remember the old school wrestler? Everyone's got a price. With material things. Some people got a price with, with everything. Not me. I'm not, I don't go there with that. But material things, someone offers me the right price, take them. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.